Some states report their taxpayers had to foot the bill when presidential candidates made visits to their cities. But today we are learning that was not the case when Mike Pence came to Dalton. News Channel Line's Stephanie Sanastasi joins us now with more. Stephanie. Kelvin, in some cases, taxpayers have paid more than $20,000 for a politician to come to town. We found that in a report in Toledo, Ohio, that that's what happened there. So we did the math today, digging deeper into VP candidate Mike Pence's visit to Dalton, which happened less than a month ago. Hello, Georgia! People in Dalton cheer as Republican vice presidential nominee Mike Pence enters the stage. More than 23 days after this rally, Dalton Mayor Dennis Mock also cheering after finding out the total cost of Pence's visit. It was paid for through the Trump campaign out of Massachusetts. I think the bill was $10,611.55 and uh, the convention center actually made money on that. Meaning no cost to taxpayers. However, you have to back out the setup costs and uh, you know, we did pay people to work there while that event was going on. The, the regular employees. So if you back all that up, I think uh, back all that out, I think it was about 30% of that came off the top. Mock says whatever money's left will go in the convention center's general fund. <laughs> Over at the Dalton Police Department, we asked spokesman Bruce Frazier how much extra it cost them to beef up security for the event that day. We were able to provide a lot of the extra security functions using detectives, people that are usually assigned to desk jobs here at the department. Uh, we were able to put them in the field for that, so we were actually able to get it done without any overtime. And Frazier says there was still enough patrol on the streets to deal with the daily calls. He says for events like these, the Secret Service takes the lead. Other agencies like the Georgia State Patrol, the Whitfield County Sheriff's Office, and Chattanooga Police also helped out. None of them got overtime either. If we needed to call in other officers from other shifts or provide overtime, we would have done that to make sure that uh, we were able to serve the citizens of the community first. Mayor Mock says bring on the politicians because in Dalton, they're ready for another presidential rally. Anytime we can get that kind of attention, it's good. More than 900 people attended the rally that day. Mayor Mock says the convention center can hold more than 2,000 people. Kelvin. Thanks, Stephanie. Georgia is a key battleground state for both Hillary Clinton and Donald Trump. The latest polls essentially show the two in a dead heat. In the last month, four polls have been done showing Trump with a lead in Georgia, but because of the margin of error, it's basically a tie.